In this video, we will take a look at the age filter curves in the auto growth node. So we have two different types of filter curves next to all the settings in the auto growth node. One is the green curve that we already know from other nodes, which controls the strength of a setting based on where it's located on its parent, for example, where a twig is located on a branch. And the first one is not the orange curve that we usually have. Instead, it's a new age curve. So this age curve is based on the number of iterations in the plant. It's based on how old the plant is. So what does that mean? Well, we can use the curves to make one effect stronger or less strong depending on the current iteration. So in this example, I'll increase the amount of angular noise in the plant so that we get a very gnarly and crooked look at all branching levels. This effect is now too strong, so we can use the curve to change the strength of the effect. So now let's edit the H curve. And I will reduce the amount of angular noise for later iterations. So now we have a crooky and gnarly appearance for the first iterations and the later iterations become less gnarly and crooky. So this is visible with some of the branches in the background, but let's make this effect more extreme. And now we have many more straight branches in the tree and only the first branches are gnarly and crooked. Let's edit the curve even further and remove the strength so that we're only left with the very first branching levels and all the other levels are mostly pointing straight up in the sky based on the tropism settings. And now let's increase the amount of angular noise a little bit for later iterations so that we have more angular noise in the twig sections and less angular noise in the middle branching levels. And of course stronger angular noise in the very first branching levels. Okay, so now we have a nice mix of strength variation for the setting in the entire plant. We'll now apply the same principles to the growth speed setting as a second example. Let's edit the age curve. And again, the growth speed controls the number of children that are generated and the length of each new branching level and the number of iterations. So by lowering the growth speed for later iterations, we get more main branches at the beginning of the tree, but less smaller branching levels, less tweaks and less leaves. Let's now invert this filter and we'll produce the opposite result. So lots of twigs, a lot of smaller branching levels and lots of leaves, but only a few main branches. So once again, to sum this up, we can use the different curves to influence the strength of each setting in an auto growth node based on the current number of iterations and the current number of iterations in the auto growth node corresponds to the age of the plant. So we can reduce or increase the strength of a setting based on how old a plant is. So the best way to find out how your plant can benefit from these filter curves is to simply play around with them. So here you see me trying out different curve settings for the decay setting to add or remove more dead branches. And I also added the shedding th threshold to influence the amount of decay that the plant has. And then I add some more variation with the light influence setting, which produces totally different looks for the entire tree. So I hope you found this useful. And in the third and final part of the auto growth node, we will explore the cut and pruning settings to create plants that follow a specific shape.